Hi everyone, this is Atik. Welcome to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. Dear students, in my today's session, let me focus on a one day plan for specially supplementary students. The students who are having lot of supplementary exams. So, when a student is having supplementary exam, actually there is one uh, extra burden on the mind of the student that along with regular exams, they have the burden to pass the supplementary exams. Yes, of course, regular exams, we have time, okay, we have so, we can refer so many materials and our goal is to get uh, as many marks as possible. Okay, that case is separate. But here, I will be focusing on, you are having only one day time. Tomorrow is your exam. How to utilize this one day? So that you can easily prepare for your supplementary exam and easily you can get good marks in the exam. Not only pass marks, you can get good marks for the supplementary exam. So what to do in this case? So dear students, I have prepared one one day plan to all of you. By following this one day plan, easily you can able to prepare and cover the syllabus by which you will be in a position to write your supplementary exam easily. So what I have done means, let us say tomorrow is, tomorrow is your exam. So today you need to wake up early and you need to implement and maintain this time. Not only you need to maintain this time, but what to do during this time is very important. That I am going to list out now. So, tomorrow is your exam and today morning 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. 3 hours. In these 3 hours, what you are going to do? So, dear students, before this, before you are going to prepare tomorrow, you need to keep ready one syllabus copy with you. One syllabus copy, one syllabus of that particular subject, take print out and then keep one mobile phone with internet connection or a laptop with internet connection. Why means what you are going to do here? In these three hours, you are not going to prepare any test book. In these three hours, you are not going to prepare any bulky material also. In these three hours, you will keep syllabus copy in front topic wise and you are going to select any three units first. So let us say JNT Anantapur, for example, having five units for one subject. Out of five units, no need to prepare five units in this entire day. You need to select only three units which you feel comfortable. Any three units you can select. There should not be any condition that it should be in order. Any three units you select and take that first unit and in that unit, topic wise, you need to see your syllabus copy and you need to search the concepts. Okay, that work you need to do in these three hours. So let us say in these three hours, you are going to finish out unit 1. Unit 1, I am not saying you are going to complete the test book here. Hi here, I am saying topic wise, you are going to search the topic in Google and you are going to note down those points in your brain. That's all. Now, once this unit 1 is over, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. In during this time, it is a just a break for you or you can say it is a breakfast break. Take some rest in this one hour. Again, return back from 10 to 1 p.m. You need to start this doing the same thing. But here, you need to start next unit. Let us say unit 2. Or maybe unit 3, unit 4, depending on your easiness. Unit. How you need to prepare? Any test book? No. No test book, no bulky materials. Just to see the syllabus. Whatever the topics are there. Topic wise, topic wise, you need to go through and search in internet. And whichever the website open, go through those concepts. That's all. You need to. Next, again, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., it is a break or it can be a lunch break. Okay, here you can take one an hour rest. And again, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., you will start next unit, unit 3. And again, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. is a break. Here you will take rest. Okay, now, dear students, now, you got an idea of total, how many units here? You got an idea of total three units. So three units, you got one idea. I am not saying you have read each and every topic, but you have covered whatever the topics are listed out in the syllabus copy. Because when, when a person is going to prepare the paper from a, uh, of any university, then compulsory they are going to follow the syllabus copy. So syllabus copy, whenever we are going to prepare for any exam, Syllabus we need to keep in front and we need to prepare. So for that reason, 
you have got an idea of three units now. Now, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. This is the period where many of you think that, sir, can I start fourth unit? I will say here, no. No need to start fourth unit, no need to touch fifth unit. Here, in this last three hours in my plan, you need to have a revision. You need to have a revision of what? A revision of first unit, second unit and third unit, which already you have prepared. So, go through this concepts which you have prepared once again. So, that's why when you are preparing unit 1, unit 2, unit 3, make, make a habit of writing some small running notes points in a rough notebook. So, that those points you can again refer in the last 3 hours. Now, how to prepare it? Once this preparation is over, once this preparation is over, I have told writing tips also. That how you are going to present this in an exam. Okay, for that separate one video I have prepared. How to clear all backlogs at a time. So, you can find the link in the i button. I will give this link. You can click on the i button here and you can find that link or else you can find the link in the description. So, how to clear all backlogs at a time. There, I have told writing tips also. So, this is only a plan for the students who are having supplementary exam, how they can cover the maximum syllabus. Now, once you have completed these three units, fourth unit, fifth unit, you can write with your own in the exam. So, what happened? Ultimately, the person who is correcting the paper, what they once the, you have written three answers correctly, then automatically for fourth and fifth answer also, you will get marks. So, in this way, you can able to clear your supplementary exams easily. So, implement all these uh, techniques in your uh, exam when you are preparing for your supplementary exam and write it in the exam so that eventually you will get a positive result and put your success stories in the comment section it will be a, it will be an encouragement as well as motivation for many of the students who will watch this video so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care Allah Hafiz.